right, so I'm at the first job of the day. They've been having issues over the weekend. They called a plumber already. He dug up what looks like the uh, line going into the tank. Now we pumped this particular house out two years ago and they added an addition to the house. So that's over the sewer line. So hopefully it's not too crazy, but I'm gonna dig a little more and see what I can find. Time to go fishing. So here's the sewer line and there's the tank itself. They were saying there's a wet spot right here. Oh yeah, that's why they just they just plug put this together with a fern co. It's a rubber coupler right there. I think the reason being because this tank, I believe has a cast iron fitting right here. So they tried to make it work and they got all this going on. The clean outs over here. And that doesn't do me much good. I can't really see. So from here, I'm gonna dig the tank out this way. It doesn't have a clean out. This, there should be a clean out right here, but it's just the way they put it in. and. This, last time I was here, this whole thing wasn't here. So the clean out's probably under the house somewhere. Or was. I don't know what they did with it, but I'm going to dig this up right quick and see what we can find. There's the lid right there, so I'm going to go right there. Whenever you're looking for a septic tank, you always want to keep an eye out for any sign of the lid you don't want to be digging in the wrong direction because you're just going to waste time the sooner you find the lid the better yeah you see that right there and i can't remember if this one was a square lid it looks like it is so i'm going to find the outlines and keep digging but i'm trying to find the edge so i can see which direction it's heading I don't think that's the lid unless it's a slab tank. I already, I already smell something funky. I think it might be a slab tank. Which means there's not a manhole. It's just this whole tank is split up into two slabs. So I might just have to get my pry bar and open it up. Don't you love when there's big rocks right where you're trying to dig look at this what in the hell shit you always get the fun ones when you're by yourself I told y'all My dad and my brother are probably out eating tacos right now. <sighs> yeah, so unfortunately, I think this is a slab tank. So I'm gonna have to dig up this whole side of the tank. Um, I'll show you what it looks like after, after I dig it up. But yeah, it's gonna be a pain in the ass because then I gotta get the rock bar and pry this around and there's no telling how thick it is inside, but I'll keep you updated. I forgot how far this thing goes out. I'm gonna recommend putting a riser on this lid. That way you don't have to dig up the whole thing again. So thankfully, I think I've hit the end on this side. I'm clean that up a bit. Yeah, there it is right there. Okay, so we got from right here, clear up, and then I'm gonna try and pry it up with the uh, rock bar right here. Whew. And there she is, after a little, little bit of digging. This is half of one of the slabs 
on this slab tank so the split is right there i think i gave myself enough room to where i can get the rock bar and kind of slide it on this way and fit my hose inside and take a look see what's going on inside the tank so we've got the seam right here I'm gonna try get some leverage on it slide it if i can i don't know if i'm gonna be able to slide it might just have to lift it up I think I'm too high right there let's get a little lower damn It's a nice squishy noise. Let's see if I can get an angle on it. Yeah, this bad boy's heavier than I thought. That doesn't sound too good. Make this a little wider. I just hit back day last night, so I'm gonna be extra sore here pretty soon. Give it another shot. not a good sign so for those of you on septic anytime you see water coming up from the septic itself that's telling you you've got a problem on the drain or the leach leach field it just depends on where you're from they call it drain field or the leach field you can see that bright green grass right there now i don't know exactly what the cause could be sometimes it's roots sometimes it's just so old sometimes it's oversaturated with either rain or just water from the house in general but water seeping up from the tank itself is never a good sign Once again, if you're on septic and you're having problems with your sewer line or backing up in the house, call a septic guy first because plumber can't do anything in this situation. I mean, you can see it right here. But we'll hook up my stinger and start pumping it down. 
this style of tank is already telling me it's pretty dang old. Gotta move it a little further. Let's see if that did it right there. Still need a little more. Just need a tiny bit more. Hopefully right here. There we go. You can see the water starting to pour out now. Once I pump this down, I'll get the customer to flush it and make sure it's all coming out. But Either they're just gonna have to get this pumped out more frequently or they're gonna have to get a bigger tank and get something done about the drain pill because this is a really small system for this size of house. flush it a couple times and just make sure everything's coming out of the inlet pipe. So the test flush was good, but like I said, we're still gonna have problems with this drain field. So gonna talk to the customer and weigh out the options and what steps they want to take next.